How should Wolverine make his entrance into the Marvel Cinematic Universe? The next phase of the MCU is set to introduce, reintroduce, and in some cases, re-reintroduce a slew of new characters. With the anticipation surrounding beloved figures such as the Fantastic Four and the X-Men, the spotlight is especially on Wolverine, the ill-tempered mutant with adamantium claws. Hugh Jackman portrayed this iconic character impeccably in the Fox Marvel series for 17 years, reaching a pinnacle with the acclaimed 2017 film Logan. With the Fox properties now back in the fold of the MCU, fans are eagerly anticipating news about Wolverine's first appearance. A recent She-Hulk episode offered a tantalizing hint, featuring a news flash scene with a sub-headline about a man with metal claws involved in a bar brawl, serving as a subtle teaser for Wolverine's introduction to the MCU. However, the real question remains, how will Kevin Feige and the Marvel Brain Trust officially unveil Wolverine? Here are some compelling suggestions for how the Marvel Cinematic Universe can masterfully introduce this iconic character to its audience. Let's start off with Wolverine facing off against the Hulk. In the realm of comics, Wolverine made his debut in 1974 as an antagonist in Incredible Hulk No. 181. The storyline depicted Wolverine navigating the wilderness in pursuit of a formidable green beast, engaging in battles with both the Hulk and the creature Wendigo. A faithful adaptation of this narrative could serve as a pure and authentic introduction for Wolverine in the MCU, especially with Mark Ruffalo firmly established as an excellent Hulk. However, condensing the comic's premise into a two-hour movie might result in a thin and underwhelming storyline. To enhance the narrative, significant themes could be incorporated, such as Wolverine's involvement in the Weapon X program and the pivotal moment when he undergoes the adamantium infusion. Exploring his training in the mind-wiped world of Weapon X could provide a compelling plot device, setting the stage for the introduction of characters like the nemesis Sabretooth, allies like Maverick, and unpredictable figures like Deadpool. Deviating from the comic source material, the storyline could take a unique turn by transforming Wolverine and Hulk into full-fledged allies, united against a greater threat. This departure wouldn't be entirely sacrilegious, as it could pay homage to their temporary alliance in the pages of number 181. This narrative choice proved successful in the animated feature Hulk vs., where both Banner and Hulk teamed up. Exploring Bruce Banner's pre-Smart Hulk blip days could add an intriguing layer to the story, depicting him wandering the woods in search of purpose and meaning after the devastating events wrought by Thanos. In this context, encountering a lethal, clawed individual like Wolverine could serve as a compelling twist in the tale. With that, let's talk about appearing as an X-Men out of the gate. In Wolverine's journey in the Fox series, we initially encountered him as a solitary drifter, residing in a basic camper with a propane heater and his belongings hanging from a cord. After a brief yet intense brawl with Sabretooth, he finds himself at Xavier's mansion, receiving a tour of the grounds and an overview of Professor Xavier's dream of harmony between mutants and humans. A modified version of this scenario could serve as a compelling introduction to Logan, who is already a member of the X-Men. In a bold and unexpected move similar to how Spider-Man was handled by the MCU and Sony, Wolverine could be seamlessly integrated into the narrative, already part of the X-Men team. While this approach might be the path of least resistance, it could be perceived as somewhat lazy. Nevertheless, an introduction to the post-Jackman Wolverine, seamlessly integrated into the X-Men lineup, would likely be a welcome one for fans. Now let's talk about a solo Wolverine movie. The optimal approach for introducing Wolverine aligns with his preferred status, a solo movie dedicated solely to the iconic character. This strategy would seamlessly integrate mutants into the MCU, providing a gradual immersion into this universe with a focus on a few characters, rather than the entirety of Xavier's school. A Wolverine solo film could delve into the solitary life of Logan as he navigates through the challenges of piecing together his mysterious past. While we have seen elements of this in the Fox X-Men-verse, a film concentrating solely on Logan's story without the distraction of an ensemble cast would be the ideal way to introduce both the character and the broader world of mutants. This could adopt a borderline street-level narrative, 
centering around a Weapon X-based plot rather than a typical world-saving scenario common in Marvel stories. The focus would be on Wolverine and his personal adversaries, with the stakes driven by personal victories rather than universal ones. Recognizing the significance of Wolverine in the Marvel Universe, the introduction of this character is a pivotal moment that Marvel aims to execute flawlessly. Whether he's tangling with the Hulk, fighting alongside the X-Men for humanity, or simply going about his business until provoked, fans anticipate the moment when the MCU introduces its version of Wolverine. Despite the introduction of numerous intriguing mutant characters in the X-Men franchise by 20th Century Fox, many of them lacked significant character development, especially in the original trilogy that concluded with 2006's X-Men The Last Stand. While subsequent prequel and reboot projects provided opportunities for other characters to shine, the focus in the original films was predominantly on Professor X, Jean Grey, and Wolverine, with the latter receiving the lion's share of attention. Hugh Jackman's iconic portrayal of Wolverine made this emphasis acceptable, but it was regrettable that other characters missed out on substantial screen time, particularly as Wolverine went on to headline a solo trilogy. As Wolverine and the X-Men transition into the MCU, it would be wise for Marvel Studios to initially keep these two entities separate. When introducing the X-Men to the MCU, each team member should receive ample character development to engage audiences from the outset. Excluding Wolverine from the team initially could ensure that other characters have the spotlight, allowing their stories to unfold organically without distraction. A similar approach was taken in Fox's X-Men First Class, where lesser-known characters were given room to develop without being overshadowed by Wolverine, and Marvel Studios might choose to adopt a similar strategy. While suggesting that Wolverine's inclusion in the MCU is not discouraged, it is emphasized that the character possesses numerous standalone narratives in Marvel Comics suitable for adaptation into live action. Marvel Studios has the opportunity to present audiences with an authentic portrayal of Wolverine's origin story, addressing the shortcomings of 2009's X-Men Origins Wolverine and establishing clear links between Wolverine's background and the broader MCU universe. To prevent the recurrence of past errors, it is proposed that other mutant heroes could similarly be given individual projects, laying the groundwork for each X-Men member before assembling the team. Establishing individual stories for each member of the X-Men team before uniting them in a crossover project aligns with Marvel Studios' successful approach in introducing the Avengers during the MCU's Phase 1. While this strategy may require some time, it provides Marvel Studios with the chance to deliver much-needed character development and backstories, addressing the neglect that certain characters faced in Fox's X-Men franchise. The suggestion is made that Wolverine could exist in the MCU before becoming a part of the X-Men, and he might not necessarily be a founding member considering that he held a different role in the original Marvel comics. It is noted that there might already be a version in the MCU's primary continuity, Earth-616. However, before introducing this character, Phase 5's Deadpool 3 is expected to feature Hugh Jackman, reprising his role from the Fox's X-Men franchise. This marks Jackman and Ryan Reynolds' debut in the MCU and could potentially include other X-Men characters making a return. This presents a valuable opportunity for Marvel Studios to conclude Hugh Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine and set the stage for a new iteration of the character through solo projects, preparing for his inclusion in the MCU's future X-Men lineup. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you at the next one.